Um, I just think that the campus is very diverse and there's many Indians and Hispanics and Asians just in general, just a lot of diverse. I'm Albanian myself. So it's just more diverse than other campuses. I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing, but a lot of people don't like it and I mean I mean it just on depends on people's taste if they like being diverse or they just want white. Campus is pretty diverse. I mean there are a lot of different minorities that you wouldn't see very many other places. And a lot of there are for example in my hall it's mainly in Asians that aren't the greatest at speaking English, so it's kind of hard to communicate with them. It's, it's a little frustrating, but at the, at the same time, it's it's a nice change from what your normal life is like. And you get to see different perspectives on things like that, and different cultures. Okay, uh, when I think of like racial stereotypes, I think like campus is very diverse. Like My hall has a lot of Indians, for instance, and at first I thought it was a little weird. And I was kind of like, you know, I didn't know how many friends I'd have. But uh, I went out with them, and they all seem pretty cool, and you get to know them, and it's like, you can have the same, like, think on a deep level with them, and it opens new windows and things you never thought of before. Uh, beginning of, or the end of last semester, I was choosing my uh, physics class, and I noticed there's two teachers. One was Greco, who's obviously an American uh, teacher, and the other one was uh, Jang who I end up having right now and I was trying to get into Greco because I thought I would understand him better but I got into Jang and I don't understand him so that's why I try to get into that class. I'll use course critique but I'll also use people just to like see if I can, I can understand them because it's like the biggest thing and I probably already have a hard time, a hard enough time in school and like not understanding my professor is really hard because I remember my Calc 2 professor last semester like I could not understand a single word she said and all I would do is laugh at the things she would say. And I felt really bad, but it was true. Um, last semester, when I was taking physics, I I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't realize it at the time, but the teacher I chose uh, was Hispanic, and he had a pretty strong accent. And I regret having taken the class because of that, and because I, I wasn't able to learn it at nearly as well because I would I would drift off in class because I couldn't understand some of the things he was saying. And in the future, like I in the future, I wouldn't take I, I wouldn't take a class with him or another professor who may have a strong accent because of that. So I say I love what do you think of that recording? How easily could you understand the speakers? I mean, I could understand them fairly well. I had to concentrate a lot harder than usual, but I, mean, I was able to pick up what he was saying pretty easily. Okay. Um, seeing as you're a lacrosse player too, and he was talking about lacrosse, how would you rate his knowledge base in the sport and the upcoming match that he was talking about? Uh, he did a really well, good job. Pretty, I mean, he knew what he was talking about. He seemed very well informed, so I was impressed. I gave him a high rating. So the overall effectiveness of say on a scale of one to five, like five being you could understand every word he was saying, he was effective, great knowledge about everything. What would you give say? Him a five, definitely. You're giving five? Okay. Thank you very much. So what you just listened to, what would you rate the overall effect? The ease of understanding of the person talking. Could you understand everything that they said on a scale of one to five? I'd say five, I understood what they were saying. You understood what they were saying? Um, how would you rate their knowledge? I just got one to five. Um, it sounded pretty knowledgeable to me. It's like four or five. It sounded pretty knowledgeable? Um, overall, would you say it was effective or not effective? His presentation. Um, it was effective, like, was it explaining a homework problem? That's what it seemed like to me. Explaining, uh, like, tutoring somebody. Uh, it wasn't engaging to listen to. It sounded like you knew what he was talking about. Sir, after listening to that, what would you rate the overall ease of understanding of what the person was saying? For, on a scale from one to five. I'd give it a five. Five? So you can understand what he was saying pretty well? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, about what he was saying, did, did you feel he was knowledgeable about changing the tire or do you feel that he was just making it up? Do you feel he was not? Uh, I think he was knowledgeable, but he could have been more knowledgeable. But, explain. Because, um, 
he was saying stuff about, I mean, I couldn't have fixed a tire which is that much, you know, I, I kind of had a rough idea about it, but if I was stuck with a flat tire, I'd be in trouble. Uh, just overall effectiveness of what he was saying. Uh, what would you rate him on a scale of 1 to 5, including I'd, I'd all those factors? Five. I'd give him a 5 still, because he wasn't very informative, but then... I mean, I'll, he'll pass with me, I put out there.